down. So those darn piggies, man, they escape. They do still escape if you've been wondering. It's not very frequent and they're usually hanging around here somewhere, but we live with it. I know what you're gonna say, do a hot wire and everything else, but you know, so far they come back like dogs. You just call them and eventually they snort and come back up to you and they just wander, so. We're going to leave it like that. But today what I want to talk to you about is buffalo. And I haven't really seen a video like this out there. And I hadn't really seen anything or heard anybody talk about it. And that's kind of how buffalo court each other. To actually do the stuff. So anyway, we're going to show a little bit about that. We've got some video that we've recorded previously or over time during this rut with the bulls. And it's kind of interesting to see what they do and kind of how they work together. Is it aggressive? Is it not? You know, kind of what happens. So anyway, stick with us. We'll talk a little bit about courtship in buffalo and of course the reproductive gestation periods and just kind of some stuff that maybe you don't know about. All right, so you hear a lot of times that buffalo are in the rut and that's mating season. Well, technically, maybe that's not 100% true. So mating season or the time period in which typically everything occurs is July through September, okay? That's ballpark it. And it can be a little bit different, but generally you say that that's the time period. The rut is the time period, typically it seems when the buffalo bulls are a little bit more aggressive and they're maybe button heads, they're probably a certain dominance. That's actually just a four week period. And it's somewhere in between that July to, to September, but usually probably July, August. So if you don't see the buffalo bulls like going on to town and you're just button heads all the time, it doesn't necessarily mean that breeding season's ended, right? Breeding season can still last. Now, there are cases where animals sometimes will breed and you'll have a calf in November. I've heard of a calf as late as January. So, you know, take everything with a grain of salt, but typically July through September is it. And that's good because hopefully us as ranchers can use that to kind of predict when calving season starts and when it would probably end. So last year, the latest calf we had was middle of August, and we kind of knew that that's pretty much about it. The bulls, Bartok, I believe is the one right behind me, they're both doing their job, they're both out and about and sniffing girls, which is what we love to see. So some of the things behaviorally wise, right, that you may not see unless you're maybe in Yellowstone, being one of those tourists that want to be smart and get up close. So when, when mating season kind of comes about, some different behaviors you'll see from the animals. Cows, you might see them run through the herd, trying to announce themselves a little bit. That was appropriate. That's more just Mary being Mary. But they can run through the herd, assert themselves, kind of let everybody know, hey, I'm in heat, looking for a suitor, that kind of thing. Also, the dominant bull is not the only bull that breeds, okay? We have Ahmed and we have Bartok. Ahmed is the dominant bull, and he's gonna go around, he's gonna get priority, and he's gonna do what he can. If you have more females than he can probably deal with, Bartok is always on the fringes, taking whatever he can get, and he will get some. If you're wondering how many bulls per females, if you're in a wide open plains, maybe like a Yellowstone where the females are more spread out, it's harder to get from one spot to another, maybe scent them, things of that nature, the, the number would drop. But 15 to 20 is a pretty good average, especially in a small confined pens like a lot of these ranches have. Um, 15 to 20. I have 28, so I have two bulls. And if we sell some, I'll still probably keep two bulls. But that's another conversation for another day. Believe it or not, the bulls are actually pretty kind, considerate, heartwarming, loving, all sorts of things with these animals. So the bulls are not mean to the females. They are pretty gentle, and it's actually fun to see them just kind of do their little courting thing with them. But that doesn't mean that they're not mean to each other. So in case you're wondering, 
The bulls go around, they sniff the air, and they're looking for the scent that the females give off when they're in estrus, or when they're ovulating. The estrus cycle, or the ovulation cycle, is a 21-day period. It may last for a couple days. The bull catches up on that scent, finds the female, and starts that courting ritual, if you want to call it like that. This little guy just keeps coming up to us. Staying close. Staying close and checking us out. Well, that's the mom, maybe. <laughs> Hard to tell. Well, that's one of the mothers, and there's only two, so I'll take a shot at it. That's probably the mom. Okay. Like I said, that they'll both do this, and they'll continue to sniff, and at the same time, Bartok's doing the same thing. Bartok will actually do it for as long as he can get away with it until Ahmed sees it. So it's funny, you'll actually see Ahmed busy with a girl, and he'll keep looking over to where Bartok's at, and Bartok, if he's smart, which sometimes he is, he kind of hides on the opposite side or behind the hay, but he tries to stay out of view of Ahmed because Ahmed's not going to put up with it. But they do this. Now this is the courting ritual that I was talking about, okay? And it looks like nothing's going on. So he will actually stay like this, but he'll stay next to her. And she'll stand there and eventually he might try and nuzzle up a little closer. She'll walk away. And then he'll go right up, stand right next to her again. And they'll keep repeating this and he'll just keep standing. This can go on for 30 minutes. It can go on for a day, two days. This is the action, right? It's not maybe what you'd expect from a bull this size. Achman here is standing next to one of the females of his choice right now. And he stands there. Periodically she will move and he will move. And he just keeps going along and picking a side and standing next to her and waiting. Every so often he does that. He just puts himself, he puts his head on her back. He tries to see if he can get anything and oftentimes she moves. Oh crap, he sees Bartok. Yeah, he doesn't like Bartok's infringing on his territory, but Bartok still, still tries. So obviously, you know, this can take time, but they can stand like that for a while too. And he'll stand there and stand there. And I don't know what signals him to try or not try, but he will stand there. And, and you can see why this opens up opportunities. If there's enough females and someone somewhere else comes into cycle, well, Bartok's gonna be the cleanup pitter and he's gonna do it. Also breeding season lasts three months. So, you know, there might be a time that a female might come into heat and she goes out of heat and he, she never got bred. It could be that Barta or Ahmed here mounts her and it just doesn't take. So that's possible as well. Finally, he's successful after many hours of sitting here. The prize is won and he does his job. Now, not every time is it gonna be successful and it's, he actually might stay with her for a while afterwards and still shadow her Something else to keep in mind, guys, is that the girl actually has to accept the guy. So as I said, like, girls don't necessarily always get with the dominant male. And at times in the old wild, the bulls come from their single male herd and they come into the female groups, or, or sometimes the bulls with them already. But there's a courtship that happens, and there's a relationship that does have to build. Sometimes the women don't want to take the guy, and they're just, nope. So... That's something to keep in mind is that there's there is a relationship aspect that needs to happen in amongst this courting and the girls can say no and there's nothing a guy can do about it you know bulls when they're doing this i've said it before but they can lose 10 percent of their body weight easy during the rut and he's not super focused on eating in fact the way he looks right now is actually the worst i've actually seen him look since we've had him he's more focused on the ladies and defending his turf so um, Bartok is actually starting to almost look better than he does, does right now, but every once in a while we see him eat, but just be expectant of that. If you see a bull during the rut, they may, they're not looking their best. Some other facts that you might want to be interested in is the fact that gestation is 285 days. Call that maybe nine and a half months. So if you know when the buffalo bred, then you know generally when it's going to have its baby. Also, 99% of all the births that are out there are going to be single births. It's very uncommon to have multiple births in a single pregnancy. And the calves, when they're born, weigh 33 to 55 pounds. That is very light. They are not big. 
typically like you might see from cattle jeans. Okay, they're very light and they can be up and about and moving within 10 minutes. So that's partly why buffalo don't struggle so much with pregnancies and giving birth and labor and us guys having to be out there pulling them and everything is because the calves are typically very small when they're born, but they do grow pretty quick and they're very mobile. So Ahmed is still chilling. He's with Megan, number 126 right now. And yeah, not much happened since the last time you saw them. It's pretty much the same stuff, but he's still with her. So when it comes down to time for babies, actually, guys, the calves are typically born. We talked about their being up pretty quick. The babies <clears throat> actually will nurse for about seven to nine months. So if they're born in May, typically by the end of the year, the nursing period starts. Oftentimes in ranches, there's a forced nursing that happens. It depends on your ranching style. Sometimes there isn't. Some people don't pull the calves off. Sometimes they leave them with the moms. Um, it's up to you. It's your prerogative, your preference. I think we actually have two female calves in my opinion, although I haven't verified it. But bull calves actually can wean earlier at six months, whereas female calves might wean a little bit later in nature. But either way, six to nine months, figure out the kind of ranching style you guys want to have and just go with that. You know, if you want to separate them off, if you don't, there's pluses and minuses. Do your research, figure out which one you want to do, but uh, it's not bad either way. So you have a lot of these ladies standing here and some of you buffalo peeps, um, if you have experience with this, I'm assuming that when the lady is standing there and her tail is up, it's almost like a, a signal to them she's cycling. Um, that's what I'm guessing is kind of going on. And you'll see the bulls will start sniffing the air. They're, they're smelling the hormone and trying to find out who's ready and who's not. And it seems like a lot of times when the ladies are kind of near the bull, they'll kind of lift up their tail and kind of position themselves in front of them. So let me know if I'm right about that, if you have experience with the buffalo and you've seen it before. Well, that's the herd, guys. No, no baby progress, no nothing. Just females. So we're hoping that Rockman and Bartok are doing their job. All signs point towards it. They're doing fantastic this year. So next year, we're hoping for a pretty good crop and hopefully things will be a little bit more plentiful and not super delayed. <laughs> so we're hoping that a lot of these females are actually gonna get pregnant before the end of this month. So we'll have hopefully a May, at latest June kind of crop. So I hope you enjoyed some of these facts. Maybe there's things that you didn't know about before. Some of them are pretty commonly known, but maybe there was a little bit of tidbit of information that is kind of new. So, but otherwise, always remember bulls don't mess with them during mating season, especially that four week period of the rut, and especially at Yellowstone. And they're also super gentle with the female cows. So that's always nice to know, gentle giants. But we'll catch you guys later next time. Keep with us, bye.